Hi guys! Uh, today I thought I would vlog a little bit because I've got quite an exciting weekend so I thought I would share what's happening in my weekend with you guys because I think it'll be a fun vlog to watch um, but for now I actually need to hurry because uh, first up this weekend I'm going to be going and having my hair done by Urban Sass which is quite exciting because I am long overdue for a haircut um, I think the last time I had a haircut was probably October um, I'm not joking so anyway it is time for a haircut and they've kindly offered to do a wash and blow for me so I am going to be going over there for that but I really really need to hurry um, the mascara that I'm using here I just thought I would mention because I can't quite remember if I have mentioned it or not um, I have a feeling I have mentioned this before but this is the Maybelline the Falsies push up angel mascara and it's got a little comb brush I think you can see it there um, I initially thought I would hate this brush but the length that it gives your lashes and the way it is so precise with no clumps because you can comb out all the clumps makes them extra long and extra flattery uh, I wouldn't recommend this for the bottom lashes because with the comb it's just a little bit difficult to handle but it's not the end of the world I mean if you have to use it that's fine but um, I just prefer not to so because I'm in a hurry I'm not going to reach for another mascara right now and do my bottom lashes I'm just going to leave them bare um, later on this afternoon I'm going to be having my makeup done by MAC which is also very exciting because they've got a new launch as well I'm not entirely sure what the new launch is um, I just know that it's something summery and because I'm leaving for Croatia in three weeks I think it'll be quite exciting to go and learn about the new products and um, the new summer trends because then I can use them while I'm away so anyway if you were interested this is just the um, rose blush it's racy rose by Revlon and then my lips have been terribly terribly dry you can see they are a little bit chapped mm, I decided to go on a short course of Rakuten which I know most people find extremely controversial and whatnot but I'm only doing a 10 week course and it's called pulse therapy so you only take a uh, one pull and it's a tiny tiny dosage I can't remember what it is if it's 25 milligrams or something along those lines and you only take it three times a week so it's really really small so it doesn't prevent you from doing anything really and you don't have any of the side effects so I'm just struggling a little bit with dry lips oh by the way I have to mention this this is the Clarins um, instant light lip comfort oil this is this bad boy it is incredible I only just received it about a week ago and I'm completely obsessed with it so it's just like a tinted lip oil but very glossy very moisturizing and at first I tried it on at night so I didn't realize the color payoff I just realized the texture and how beautifully nourishing it is um, and then the next time I tried it it was during the day and I actually saw the color payoff and I was so surprised so now this is very quickly become one of my favorite products especially when you're in a hurry just like I am right now because it, it just does the job so I'm just going to leave it like that because I'm having my makeup done after I'm having my hair done so I've just done foundation blush mascara I just did my brows quickly quickly with a Maybelline pencil um, if you're interested it is this brow drama pomade crayon uh, it is fantastic I really like it it's an amazing drugstore brow product which you don't often see and that is it I'm going to be going off just like this so I'll show you my outfits in a second 
So this is what we are working with today. I'm wearing these new forever new booties that I just got during the week. I've got Zara jeans, um, Zara bag, forever new coat. Um, this, this is actually Ryan's scarf. Um, this sweater you would have seen in my ASOS haul that I did. Um, I think it was the last video I did. <laughs> Abigail. This is Abigail. I'm giving you a nice head massage. So lovely. I love you. <laughs> finished having my hair done at Urban Sass today and as you can see it's very voluminous um, they did trim it beautifully um, thank you Eloise if you're watching uh, she did my hair she did my cuts and then um, we put in lots of rollers which you would have already seen and it is just my ultimate kind of look because I love love volume Thank you to everybody at Urban Sass for making my hair dreams come true today. And now that we're done with hair, I'm going to be popping right around the corner because I'm in Sanson, if I haven't said already. Um, in Sanson, I'm heading over to Sanson City to go and have my makeup done at MAC. <music> having my makeup done by Carla at MAC in Edgar's in Sandton City and she was an absolute dream to work with. Um, she's really passionate about colour and incorporating colour into your makeup which I think is a lot of fun. She did ask me what kind of makeup look I wanted to go for and I just said to her go wild, do your thing, do your artistry and I'm so glad that I did because she's ended up giving me this most beautiful kind of makeup look and she's been using all the new MAC uh, limited edition uh, collection but then they ended up giving me the collection as well so I've got all the products and I'm going to be taking you through all the products because they are absolutely beauty but now the inspiration behind this makeup look is actually a sunset which is beautiful for a tropical collection because what Carla has done here is she's created a sunset on the top lid and so she's done that with a burnt orange a pink and then she used the luster drops which are beautiful and she used the rose gold shade that I will show you don't worry um, and she created this um, sunset like look at the top here and then the sunset's supposed to be over the water which is just so beautiful I think that idea is amazing so I have this really uh, most people would think it's very very dramatic and I suppose it probably is it's not something that you'd be able to wear to the office and probably not something that you'd want for bridal makeup or any kind of thing like that but makeup artists are exactly that they are artists so i appreciate the artistry and that's why i said just go wild because i want to see what you can do and i want to see what the collection is designed to be able to do that's not necessarily to say that 
you can't buy the collection unless you want really dramatic makeup because that's not the case i will show you everything and in there you will see that you'll be able to use just a little bit of something or um uh, incorporate a little detail of color you don't even need to incorporate color because there are neutrals in the palace as well so this is what i have had done to my face today so now that it's properly beat and that my hair is done although it's starting to drop a little bit but you still get that beautiful beautiful wave and i think the cut was just what i needed because i was far overdue for that um so it's been an absolutely fantastic start to the morning so so far i've met with eloise at urban sass it's a hair salon in Sanson, right by Ned Bank. And then I popped through to Carla at Mac in Sanson City in the Edgars. So it's not the standalone. So if you are looking for a makeup artist that's really passionate about what she does, definitely, definitely go find yourself an appointment with Carla. And if you're looking for a great hair salon, I can definitely recommend um, Urban Sass as well definitely um arrange a blowout with eloise because she's fantastic and she's also somebody that's very very passionate about what she's doing which i really appreciate it's really nice to work with people that love what they are doing so now for the rest of my day i've got to run a couple errands because um we have a wine night this evening which is quite exciting because i cannot say no to a glass of wine and so I've got to pick up a platter and I still haven't had breakfast so right now I'm starving and I'm in desperate need of a cup of tea and some toast or maybe something a little bit more exciting than a piece of toast if I can twist Ryan's arm because he makes the most incredible omelettes. I kid you not, I can't order an omelette from a restaurant at all anymore because Ryan's omelettes are just that fantastic so well done Ryan but um your services are required right now anyway I will check in with you guys a little bit later okay so here I've got my mac bag with all the products that they used on me in or not all of them but a lot of the new collection products in there which i'll show you in a second and then they gave me this card which says dear leanne every summer has a story may your winter one be just as bright from mac which is so sweet and then inside i've got the the mac pack and the collection so let's tip this all out so that we can see what we're dealing with so as i mentioned this packaging is just unbelievable i mean like have you ever seen such pretty packaging i love the floral detail and it's so tropical with the pawpaw and the pineapple and so so cute so the first thing that i got was the pearl matte face powder on my passion so it looks like that it is stunning and you can use it as a bronzer by just using the bronze shade or you can mix these two and have it just as a blush and then apply the highlighter but the way they used it on me is they mixed it all together and applied it all together which looked fantastic in my opinion next up we've got two lipsticks so this one is called love at first bite and it is beautiful i love 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 this bright pink i think i'll get so much wear out of it it's a gorgeous shade and it's just my kind of shade and then i also got a nude shade um which is this one and this one is called calm heat which is kind of a good name because it is a very neutral nude um so that one is also great for summer because the way that they did my makeup yesterday was like a really really dramatic eye and then you can't be too dramatic on your lips as well because that's just a bit too much so then the first palette that i've got here this one is called uh, a fruit a la la fruit a la la <laughs> that's quite fun um and then this one they used on my top lid which was gorgeous to create that sunset look um 
and I really love this shade. This is a rose gold shade and then this orange as well. It looks a little bit pink on camera, um, but it is somewhere between a pink and an orange. So these three are what they used in my crease to create that really beautiful sunset look. This one um, was actually used on the center along with luster drops uh, to create the sun at um, sunset. So that palette's really, really beautiful. I don't think you should be afraid of these colors at all because they are so, so beautiful and they'll look great on any eye color. And then the next one that I've got is called Love in the Glades. And this is the second palette in the collection. Um, there are only two palettes in the collection. Oh, this one still has its plastic in. Um, and then this has got like the aqua colors. So it's got the, the neutrals over here. So the ones are shimmer. Um, they're actually both shimmers now that I look at it, these two. Um, and then these three are gorgeous, gorgeous green shades. This one's a deep blue, so it's not quite a navy, but um, a deep blue. And this is the shade that they used along with a pencil that I can't remember the name of. But um, this is what they created, the water-like effect on my bottom lid, which came out beautifully, I think. Um, and then we've got two lip glosses here as well. So the one, a Carly one, this is the one that they used on me. This one is called Cha Cha Cha. Um, it is just a lovely corally color. It comes out quite neutral, so it's not too pigmented. So together with uh, this um, Calm Heat, um, I think that creates a beautiful neutral lip perfect for summer and you can wear it in winter too because if you're going to do a smoky eye you could use these two shades all all year round and then this pink is just beautiful especially with that lipstick that I did already show you this is called La Salsa and that can go really beautiful with this love at first bite pink shade so I should probably mention that it's actually Sunday now and Yesterday just got crazy, so I didn't finish vlogging, but look what just arrived. I'm in bed and Mr. over here has surprised me with breakfast in bed. Thanks, love. Sure, <laughs> love you. Love you too. This looks delicious. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 